Hello and welcome back to the Craft Mansion. I'm David and this is another Marvel video. In this week's video, I'll be making Ronin's, aka Hawkeye's, katana from Avengers Endgame. It is a pretty sleek design, so I'm expecting it to be quite an easy project. If you would like to see more Marvel projects, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that little bell icon down below to get a notification when I upload more videos. If you're not a subscriber already, I'll give you 6 seconds and go! So, are you a subscriber now? Anyways, let's start. So, as usual, I printed an image of the sword. I found a pretty clear image online. But I made some modifications. After I made the modifications, I also adjusted the template for the shape of foam board I needed. The sticker area would eventually be covered by craft foam, so I removed the 2mm edge. I traced the template twice onto 5mm foam board and then cut the two layers. I also cut the five holes on the thicker edge of the katana. I made a 2mm wide groove on the inner side of both layers. This needs to fit a kebab stick, so I pressed the foam down with a pen. I spread some white glue inside and then added the sticks. This helps to strengthen the foam board since here it's very fragile. To strengthen the whole katana, I measured and cut a 6mm dowel. I made a groove for the dowel to fit in and glued it in place. I flattened the seams where one piece was larger than the other and then sanded them. Some areas were harder to reach, so I used the small files. I marked some of the edge from where the beveling started by pressing hard. This left a mark in the foam board from which I drew the whole edge. Foam board is made from two layers of cardboard with foam in the middle. I only cut the first layer of paper. Then, I cut as much foam as I could from both sides to form the bevel. To form the sharp edge, I sanded the foam. Since this is a katana, the cross guard is quite small. Again, I started off with the original picture and then made some modifications for it to fit into my design. The core component is foam board, with a slit inside it to fit the two layers of the rest of the katana. I copied the entire pattern onto cardboard twice, once for each face of the cross guard and then cut it. Then, I glued all three layers together. The cardboard was slightly larger, so I could then send it down to be at the same level with the foam board. I applied some white glue and pushed the guard in place. The grip is thicker than the rest of the katana, so I cut two more layers from the foam board. I glued one on each side and then carved out the three indents at the end. It is also slightly curved around the edges. The foam wasn't perfect all the way through. So I filled in the gaps with a paste I made from floor mat foam dust and white glue and then sanded it. Along the length of the blade there are two lines and then two more at each interval between the five holes. I cut the first layer of paper and then pressed it down with a pen. So now all the details are done, all that's left is to cover this area with foam and then also to cover the handle with foam. And for that I'm going to use the ever so useful EVA 2mm craft foam. Since I was going to use contact glue, I had to seal the exposed foam of the foam board, for which I used Mod Podge. I applied the glue to both sides and waited for it to dry a bit. Then I continued covering the area with craft foam and trimming the end with a sharp blade. Next, I started working on the grip. First I covered the tree in dents and sanded any extra foam with my German tool. The middle is free from foam, but the sides have a layer of foam that goes along the whole grip. Unfortunately, I was using the Dremel tool and it slipped, so I had to fill in the cut using paste like the one I had made earlier. I punctured the foam at the sides and uncovered the semicircles at the side. So now that all the parts are done, I sealed the whole thing and I used grey primer for the handle and then plastered it for the rest of the sword. Now a slight hiccup, both these sprays damaged the foam of the foam board. So to prevent any more damage, I'm going to seal the exposed foam with Mod Podge and then I sprayed the colored paint. I gave the foam two layers of Mod Podge in total. So now I've sprayed the grip, the cross guard and the foam over here with matte black. I just have to wait for it to dry. Once dry, I covered the black with tape and paper and proceeded to paint the rest with silver. I removed the tape and repainted some areas where the paint had dropped off. I mixed some water and black paint and then went over the lines along the blade, wiping off the excess to leave markings clearly defined. 
And finally, my first katana was finished. I have to admit, the result is not completely what I expected, but that's mostly because of the blade. That's a lesson for next time. Seal the foam board before spraying anything. Although I'm quite happy with the handle. Some props don't always turn out the way you want them to, but hey, that's how you learn. Now this might be one of the less popular props from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but I do have more popular ones, so give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more props from the MCU, and leave a comment with your suggestion. You can see the rest of my videos on my channel, I'll give you two right here. And until then, this is Ronin's Katana, I'm David, and this is The Craft Mansion.